All right, we're at Cristo Blanco here in Cusco at 11,748 feet. And we have some magnificent views behind us of Cusco. Hola, mis amigos y mis amigas. Hoy es día seis. Good morning, friends. Today is day six. We're walking to a tour of Cusco. Later, we're gonna do a hike. There's some uh, morning exercises we probably should be doing. We're a little bit tight from all this walking. Plus, where are we going today? Plaza de Armas. All right, we just walked through the Plaza Regocijo. Right above us is the Cervezaria that we went to last night. And right ahead of us is the Plaza de Armas, the main center of, this, of the city. Already some ceremonies going on in the Plaza de Armas. And this morning, there were fireworks going off outside of our hotel at 7, 7.15 and 7.45. <laughs> that was our morning wake up call. Looks like some more Corpus Christi. Oh, all the statues are out now. Cool. Just kind of standing here and looking at the mountains and all the architecture here and listening to the, uh, probably the bishop talking. It's just amazing that we're literally standing in the Incan Empire's capital. The Spanish came in, conquered it, probably built all these buildings. They changed the culture completely with the language, the religion, everything. And uh, it's just kind of amazing to think about it. Pretty much everything that the Spanish changed here. It's wild. It's also kind of amazing just you get in your little bubble at home in, in uh, Philadelphia where we live. And you just forget like how much more the world is out here, you know what I mean? It's like, People don't even speak English here, it's just all Spanish, totally different architecture, totally different landscape, totally different all together. And uh, another thing I was going to point out was this flag, which looks like a rainbow, uh, was the old Incan Empire flag. Uh, it's not a uh, gay pride flag, it's, I believe it's the Incan Empire flag. Okay. This part is the leg, you can see the leg. And from here is the body. Rolling. You can see the body. Okay. It's the other leg, the other leg, and the things. The tour. <laughs> Pretty cool so far. Which I would recommend it. It's awesome. We got some free llama keychains. And now we're gonna go get some lemonade. This is San Blas Plaza. Okay. It's kind of more like their cultural arts arts district. Cultural arts district? Yeah. Okay, so we're at Lima's Resto Bar here, and it might be El Mejor Mirador of Cusco. It's a really beautiful spot here, maybe the best viewpoint. But we are just in the middle of a tour right now. Uh, actually, this might be the end of it. And uh, start of our day six journey here in Cusco. We're gonna go for a hike and just enjoy this view a little bit. Take your glasses and repeat after me. Hana Pachapa. Hana Pachapa. Uku Pachapa. Uku Pachapa. Mama Pachapa. Mama Pachapa. We San Chispa. We San Chispa. Uhai cheese. Uhai cheese. Drink one part. Drink one. You said for the gods, for the dead people, for the mother earth, for my stomach, cheers pro saul chichinchi. <laughs> Uhai cheese. We just finished our tour with Fran. We really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend. It's free with tips, and uh, they give you a lot of good tips for going around the city. And I kind of wish we would have gone done the tour a little bit earlier. Uh, now we're gonna go get some lunch and explore a little bit more of Cusco. Maybe do the hike.
Okay, so we're right here by the church of Santo Domingo with all the little baby alpacas. <laughs> Look at them all. So basically, we're gonna go to this restaurant called Moodlista, I think it's called. It was recommended by our chef yesterday from the cooking class. Um, but it's very close to this church. This is a really cool church too, if you wanna go and visit. Um, there's old Incan temples preserved in the church and the buildings right behind it. Um, you have to use a tour as typically. Free tour guides uh, recommended that you go to that. And then over here is where we were just on our tour a little bit earlier. All right, now to the restaurant. So it was really some good food here. Alright, so we got Inca Cola. Basically like very similar to cream soda. I guess it's lemon And the Cruz Cana Negra, which is it's like a black lager. It's like a it's really good actually. Alright, Celeste. Here we go. We just took a bite of this pepper. Just a little bite. Like half of that. So spicy. But this is absolutely delicious. The ball is amazing, the pork is amazing, onions. I think definitely need some rice with it though. Yeah. All right, Mundialistas. We got the adobo cusqueño. It was fantastic. Our meal was uh, 39. It was 39 soles, which is, comes out to be about $10 for two people. We got the adobo cusqueño, which is basically pork. It's kind of like braised pork, slow cooked. And then we got the uh, roast, which is rice as well. And it was really, really good. Oh, and actually I, we got the Inca Cola and we got the Cusqueña Negra, which is the beer, which is like a 610 milliliter. I think it's like a 20 ounce or 24 ounce or something like that. But I would definitely recommend that place. If I'm ranking it on Google out of five, I'm giving that a five. If I'm ranking it out of 10, I'm giving that place probably at least like a 9.3. It was really good. Um, it was recommended again by our chef from the cooking class yesterday. So definitely go check it out. Also, it's actually a chucho novia, which is um, it's, uh, basically a place where you go get chicharron, which is fried pork. Back down the Inca street. All right, Celeste has something to vlog. How do you tell the difference between a llama and alpaca? I don't know, Celeste, how do you tell the difference between a llama and an alpaca? Llama. Llama. Longer snout. Alpaca. Alpaca, alpaca short snout. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Okay, so Cusco day two. This is the sixth day of our trip. So we have more people today than yesterday. Uh, we didn't make it to the Plaza de Armas yesterday, but you can see here we're, right beside the, we're in the Plaza de Armas, we're right beside the Castillo and the Catedral, the castle and the cathedral here. And uh, it's so many people, it's amazing. This is another religious holiday for them. Uh, I think they're celebrating the saints again. Yesterday was Corpus Christi, I'm assuming it's something like that today. They also have some bands, so we'll get some more footage of that. More marching bands! All day long, baby. On la Plaza de Armas. Don't even walk through there, it's crazy. Okay, so we are at the viewpoint of White Christ here. That's basically what it means, right? Yes, El Mirador desde El Cristo Blanco. Right here in the background, we took a, a nice little taxi ride up. It was about $15, 60 soles. We thought it would be easier for us to just drive and see it than try to hike it and get, and we wanted to save some time and uh, not get it completely exhausted, so. We are at Cristo Blanco here in Cusco at 11,748 feet. And we have some magnificent views behind us of Cusco. You can kind of see the stadium and the Plaza de Armas in the background. Plaza de Armas, and this is the fountain at Regocio, I think. Uh, Santo Domingo is over here. And then our hotel, I think, it's Plaza de Armas, Regocio, I think our hotel is like right here. It's beautiful. That's gonna be it for Cristo Blanco and the beautiful views of Cusco. So I think we wanna get some papas rellenos and some arroz con huevos, which is, I think it's like a, a stuffed potato. Arroz con huevos is rice with, with I was gonna say corn, with corn. eggs. 
with eggs. Okay. All right, so we just <laughs> had a little break, got freshened up. Now we're back out. We're gonna get a little bit of a snack. We're gonna get some papas rellenas at Antijos Cusco, which is a, just a local little spot here. And then we're gonna find a plot for dinner after that. Oh, cool, more dances. Cusco. I think I'm gonna start calling this La Ciudad de Vida, the city of life, because every time we leave our hotel room, there are just oodles of people everywhere. It's probably for the festivities, but there's just always something going on. People walking around, eating everywhere, drinking. It's a fun city to be in. Oh my gosh. So the Plaza de Armas is back here, and it's, we're just covered in people here for the festivities. Okay, here it is, Antijos Cafe, Antijos Cusco. All right, you see it? Picha Marada. Look at these churros. All right, sadly, they are completely full and we could not get in. So we're gonna go to Pacha Papa, which is on the other side of Cusco. And we're gonna try to get some <laughs> papas rellenas and also some chicha morada. I think every single church parish in Cusco has, a seven, has their own little marching band and they just process around the city and play all day and all yesterday, all today. I think for the month of June, I don't know how long it goes. Here it is. Pacha Papa. <laughs> Looks like there's space. All right, so I don't want to talk too loud because we're in the restaurant and it's not super loud here, but this is Chicha Morada which originated in the Andes. It's a Peruvian drink made from purple corn, but it's like grape juice, but wet without all of the nasty sugary sweetness of like Welch's grape juice. It's just like it's clean, got, like, refreshing. Clove. It's got clove in it, supposedly. I can't really taste the clove. If you get to Peru, especially Cusco, you gotta try the chicha morada. All right, we got this oh, quinoa soup. Cinematic? It's cool. No. We should try it. And here. papa's green, yes. Here it is. Lomo satado. All right, we finished dinner at Pacha Papa, and now we're off to maybe get some donuts, maybe get a pisco. <laughs> Got a second win now. And it's so good. It's like lighter than a donut. Oh wow, that is lighter than a donut. It's lighter than a funnel cake, too. Yeah. Got it? Mm -hmm. Ooh. I think it's like brown sugar. Mm. Ooh, it's like coconutty. Coconutty? Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so I think we're going to go into the Museo del Pisco. It's not really a museum. Not really a museum, it's actually a bar. All right. Who do I look like? This is my, this is my new haircut. Thank you, my stylist. <laughs> we, uh, we're laughing because the bartenders have been shaking our drinks for at least like two minutes, two minutes now. <laughs> there you go. Well shaken. Well shaken. <laughs> The chicha morada sour is very good. You got the what, Indian? You know? Yeah, it's all really minty, so I wonder if I got something different. That's good, doesn't really taste minty though. Oh. <laughs> I think we're just gonna drink it not wait for them to order another one. <laughs> it took so long to get it made. Jelly, being the hero. Alright, so they gave us the wrong order, sadly, and now she got her correct drink, which is the Andino, but she doesn't like it. <laughs> Mine's very good. Very, very good. <laughs> we left the Museum of Pisco. I liked my Chicha Morada Pisco, but it gave me an upset stomach. It was more medicinal than refreshing. Anyways, I think they have a, a nice selection of drinks. I would recommend going there, but my tolerance for sugary drinks is just not, not high enough for that Chicha Morada. I had the Chicha Morada for dinner, non-alcoholic and then a chicha morada with the pisco. It was delicious, but it just made my stomach obsessed, so 
but uh, it was good. I would recommend it to anybody else. That's gonna be about it for tonight. We gotta go back, pack, back and pack. Get ready for the morning. We gotta catch an Uber at about eight o'clock in the morning. to get the Chinchero in the morning at 9 a.m. to start our tour with the Llamas and the Alpacas. I this earlier, I don't know if I'll put some on the vlog or not. Uh, this is one of the kings, he's pointing up here to Cristo Blanco. It's kind of interesting they're pointing at each other. One more gift. Oh, and here's these things that you like too. What'd you get? A hat. It's like a headband. Let's see one more time, come on. Oh yeah. So that's the shopping again. Caught some kind of bug last night. Not sure what it was, it was food poisoning. All right, we made it to Aguas Calientes and we're gonna do Machu Picchu tomorrow.